Um, I spent years watching you uh, play in Ohio. Okay, so then you go to Seattle. Do you remember that first day being on a team with your son, that first game? Oh. First game, first night, I was, I think I was more nervous than you. One, I didn't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> <laughs> and then in front of him, too, it was uh, very, very emotional for me. I, I think what happened was when I got in the batter's box and uh, no, but this is a very special thing. You know, I, I would love for my father to even be alive to see my success. And you all get to play together. Does he sometimes look at you? No, <laughs> no, no, not because he's on me. Oh, uh, really? He's I like, haven't whooped him since he was <laughs> knee high. You know, no, sometimes I want to kill him. He was beating me back there. <laughs> really? Why? Just a habit here. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna arrest me. Yeah, I'm, I'm child abuse. abuse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the first day. One we're time. talking about that first year. One time. Talking about that first day. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, I mean, I was very emotional. But the biggest thing was when I got in the batter's box and get ready to take a pitch, and I hear somebody say, <laughs> "Come on, Dad." <laughs> you know, I lost it. <laughs> I had no idea. You know, cause that's the first time I ever heard that on, on deck circle. You know, somebody saying. Come on, Dad. You know, yeah. and Gene Klein's a, a hitting instructor. He just got up, and walked out. He couldn't. He couldn't take. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, it's it's, it was it's real weird. It is weird for me. <laughs> you you didn't mean that. No, it was just you know he's my father, and it was I looked back at him. Let's go, Dad. And then I looked back, and now the whole bench is cracking up. <laughs> and I slipped, and I realized what I did. What I said. So do you call him something different now? I call him father. Father. <laughs> <laughs> he gets mad because, you know, I tease him a little. Did you eat the government cheese, Father? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know I did, though. <laughs> Big blue stamp on the side. <laughs> that, that must be an awkward situation, uh, working together sometimes. And, and sometimes you all are out in the field together. That's even worse. You know, <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, I, I know I have to give way to him when he's, you know, because I'm the, the center boss. fielder is the controlling outfield. You know, when I go out for a fly ball, you know, and I got to, I say I got it, and I got to listen to him say he has it. I, I don't know if I should listen to him or not. <laughs> it's like, back off, Dan. Yeah. I got it. One time he put in front of me. I didn't, I didn't appreciate that. It was an accident. I made sure the short hands got it in the family. <laughs> That's why you got that chicken grease on your shirt. <laughs> oh, wait, what is that? Oh, Dad busted you. What is that? Bad hands. Bad hands. <laughs> you dropped a piece of chicken in the oh, green room? In the green room? It's got to eat quick. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Actually, they're both great feelers and great hitters. Uh, I pulled a clip of Ken Griffey Jr. for you all to check out. Watch this. I'll ask, I'll ask Ken Griffey Sr. to critique that performance. Well, that performance was okay, but I think I got a little higher, you know, when I made my catch in New York, <laughs> when I was with the Yankees. Yeah. In a shorter run. A shorter <laughs> run? I was standing on top of the fence. It was a shorter run. I didn't smile as much as you did. You know. <laughs> That's because everybody in the bullpen was laughing. <laughs> you got people still be throwing things that you playing with New York. Hey, <laughs> I, I hit. One, I did one thing better. What? <laughs> I had you. Are you a father on the road? I mean, when you all are out on the road, you know, are you like, hey, get in your room? You're hating. Leave that woman alone. Yeah. I don't see you. You don't see him. I don't. No. See all the time he sees me is when he takes me out to lunch, because he pays. <laughs> <laughs> he does never something. change. You know, I have to be, yeah. a, what he says, I have to be a father sometimes. So I'll take him out to lunch, and, and then I wait for dinner. So I can really get him. He still yeah. be waiting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I waited a couple times. But on the road, you kind of let him oh, do his thing. Own thing. I mean, I figure he can take care of himself, you know. But uh, sometimes I got to be a little strict if I know he's going to come in a little late. You know, he lets me know. Basically, I stay in the room for Sega with all the fellas on the team. Yeah. So you're a conservative guy. Yeah. 
Well, that's why you're such a successful athlete, man. You've been red hot lately. We'll come back and... Okay, see, I should give you an opportunity to explain that moment. It was a long run for him. Anytime. <laughs> see, he has this thing, okay? He's the best. He covers his circle just about the best of anybody in the league, and that's going from about right here. He can't, <laughs> if he moves this far, he's tired. Being that he's, you know, 41, you know, he can't run that long distance, so we had to call time out. Uh, a couple of the guys run some water and an oxygen mask out there. <laughs> and helped him out. Yeah, he, was, he was fine after that. Right. No, I had to tell him off. See, that long run, it took him four days to run that distance. <laughs> <laughs> and it took him three days to stop sweating. <laughs> you all ride each other awful hard. Oh, he does I, this to I, me all the time. It's the only time I, I get to I, I get I him give back. Him a break. I let him talk. And then I just, like I said, then I become father. You know, yeah. grounded. <laughs> That's what I leave. Yeah. What, is, what is that ring? Oh, that's World Series ring. I've never seen it. You never seen it? No. I, I'm a talk show host, man. <laughs> That's Wait a minute, I heard you play shortstop for a softball team. Well, yeah, but we don't get none of these. <laughs> just go, just go on he, uh, he has neither. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, when he was young, did you encourage him to chase his dreams as a baseball player, or did you say, uh, I want you to be a doctor? No, I didn't push him. I didn't push him into uh, doing, you know, he, it, the thing about it is he grew up in the, in the, in the world of baseball. Mm -hmm. And as he Kept going and kept going and just decided he just you know, wanted to become a, a baseball player. Period. Wanted to be like Dad. I, I was hoping some way he would say that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a little bit better sometimes. Every once in a while, you know, he's he's still good. He can he can play. Of all the things that, that that he told you and or taught you when you were young, what's the most important? Basically, you just you know stay, have fun, stay healthy, and just. Uh, be consistent. Just be you. You're not me, so don't try to be me. Just be King Griffey Jr. Yeah, because I guess there was a lot of pressure on you having a dad like this. Well, it was. Nah, um, I start off, every time he comes to see me play, I wouldn't hit and go like 0 for 4 and strike out three times. No make no contact. And so, so when he was around, you couldn't hit? No. Nah. It took him five years. He called it the longest slump. It yeah. took him five years. It actually took him five years. Last time I seen him get a hit, he was 12. The next time I seen him get a hit, he was 17 after his first year in pro ball. And I go to the games to watch him in high school. And his, his coach would tell me, don't even show up. He said, because he can't play in front of me. Mm -hmm. I said, if he can't play in front of me, he won't be able to play in front of anybody. You know? But yeah. it just got to a point where I just told him one day, he said, hey, you know, just think I'm your, mo your mother. So I you always showed up in front of her. So. weave, a long leg, <laughs> and shaved and everything. <laughs> Uh, I hear there's another incredible Griffey on the horizon. That's great. That's the youngest one. He is, he, he's a football transplant. He came from, uh, he was at Ohio State. He oh, there, there's a there. photo on the Mariners magazine. Yeah, that's the youngest one. Uh, he's, uh, he played football at Ohio State last year, and uh, when they asked me, was he interested in playing, when I, they asked me to ask him if he was interested in playing baseball, he, he, was, he was packed two days later, you know, and all of a sudden. He's doing real well down there now. He's, uh, as of yesterday, he was hitting 304. So he's doing great for a guy, for a kid that hasn't played since he was about 13. Yeah. Yeah. Th th this is uh, a dream come true, playing with Dad, isn't it? Yeah. But it's also a pain sometimes. Well, you no, see what no. I got to go through all the time with him? <laughs> well, y'all ride he's like, you. He's just like this in a locker room. I don't ride him, I'm telling you. He does. <laughs> see, I'm going to kill like, him before he's like a, He's a, um, a grandfather whoa, whoa, in the locker whoa. room. Whoa. As far as, you know, Whoa. he got everybody sitting around him while he's telling his story. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. And yeah. nobody believes him. Uh, Harold Reynolds always, you know, he used to get on me all the time. He don't believe me now, but I tell Harold the truth. No, he was lying. But, uh, <laughs> he was lying. <laughs> <But> Harold <laughs> doesn't believe what I say. Is, is he here anywhere? Harold Reynolds here. Hey, Harold. Hey, there he is. Way up What's there. up? Hey, Harold. And I tell you the truth all the time. <laughs> you lying? Yeah. I tell you the truth all the time. <laughs> Don't come late next time we get you a better seat. <laughs> He's used to sitting in the Euchre section. Oh, they're in the Euchre section. 
<laughs> That's why I'm straighten all them young kids out. I'm gonna straighten them all out. How much longer should Dad play? Well, he. I figure <laughs> until my brother gets there, then we could just monopolize the whole outfield. <laughs> We have to stick him in center because then we cover more ground. Yeah, that's right. I'm only going to cover three square feet then. That's it. Hey, you got wingspan. That's it. (laughs) You're going through some injuries right now, right? Yeah. I'm on the disabled. I had a car accident. I have a bulging disc in my neck that they're going to, I'm going to have to have surgery for it. And it don't help that I keep rushing them after after the game. (laughs) Sometimes I I can get them. I I like booty ball feet. He's still young yet. He doesn't understand. <laughs> talking about parents don't understand. Kids don't understand. <laughs> well, I'm glad you all finally found time in the schedule, you know, in the, in the playing schedule to come by because I, I wanted to talk to you and uh, continued success. Oh, thank you. Uh, this, this, this is great. This, I, I just enjoy being here, period. You know, I didn't think I'd ever get a chance to do any talk to you, period. But this is, this is great for me. Ken Griffey, Sr.